We've been talking about uh, Governor Martinez's executive order that would have state police officers ask about immigration at, uh, when they're in, uh, investigating a criminal suspect. Um, is that something you support? It says if you're arrested for a crime, I just read it yesterday, if you're arrested for a crime, your immigration status will be checked. And it does not apply to any group in particular, it applies to everyone across the board. Many of the things that have been said about it are completely false. Many of the things where people have held little demonstrations. Um, of course I agree with it. I mean, this, it's the same policy as the city of San Francisco, uh, which is hardly a bastion of anything other than fairly hard left liberalism. And it's the same policy as that of Mayor Barry. And it's a policy supported by 84% of New Mexicans, 79% of Hispanics, probably two-thirds of Democrats. So I don't know who in the world supports free-ranging people with criminal backgrounds being arrested but never asked if they're in this country legally or, or illegally. I don't know who supports that. But other than the you know 17 members I saw in the rotunda the other day. But the... The, you know, you could have someone from MS-13 um, be arrested for a crime in this state, never be asked if they're a gang member, or excuse me, if they're, if they're in the country legally. They could be from El Salvador. They could be released. They could come back and go into a Denny's and kill an innocent worker. Oh, it, this actually happened. Now, do, we, do most New Mexicans, would they like to have prevented that from happening? If that person had been asked, the person who in the summer of 2009 killed the young lady who was working at Denny's, if that person had been asked his immigration status, the crime would never have been committed. He was, was here illegally from El Salvador, and a common sense approach would be to say, you know, are you, what's the status? probably should not be on the streets, unless we just want to import criminals. But critics say someone who looks like you isn't going to be asked. In, in, in for all practical purposes, what's going to happen and what we've seen happen in Arizona is that people who have Hispanic surnames, people who speak with an accent, people who have darker skin are the ones who get asked and that that leads to racial profiling. Are you concerned about that possibility? If that were true, I would be concerned about it. I haven't seen any reports from Arizona that shows that the only people who are ever asked are people with darker skin or something like that. As a matter of fact, I read the 19-page bill, and four times in that bill it says you cannot do racial profiling. And so the only people spreading the myth uh, and trying to discourage people from understanding the actual executive order are the people who like had the demonstration the other day and trying to tell people that the, the, the executive order says things that it doesn't say at all. Um, Governor Martinez specifically, specifically says that if you're a victim of domestic violence or if you're a victim of a crime, if you're a victim at all, if you're calling 911, if you don't know where you are, you, are, you will never be asked, but if you're the only person who will be asked is someone who has been arrested for a crime, and it's any person. It could be someone from the Middle East, from France, from Belgium, from America, <laughs> from, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not based on race. I hope people aren't kind of spreading the idea that, you know, I don't think they're going to sell that. Governor Martinez is an anti-Hispanic. Tell me about how the subject of immigration is going so far this session. Is it touchy? Is, is it testy? Are you getting any angry emails or, or calls from either side? I haven't been, I have never ever been lobbied by anyone who is anti-immigration. Never. Not in my life, not through email or anything. Now I do get emails, nowhere near as many as Senate Bill 196, which is the elk or hunting, mm -hmm. hunting permit thing. But I do get quite a few emails that say we're not for illegal immigrants having driver's licenses. And that often comes from, from first generation immigrants. 
And um, so the question has never been for anyone whether or not someone's an immigrant. Some of the folks um, in, in who are my the constituents are themselves immigrants, first immigrant, first generation, second generation immigrants. Never ever occurred. People are pro-immigration. What they're not in favor of is a country without borders, without immigration laws, without passports, without visas. That's, that idea is not that popular, except among the media.